Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Starbound. You may have noticed that there has been a slight dirge of Starbound episodes on my channel, and the reason for that is quite simple. Um, when I stopped recording, there was a bug, or say there was a patch coming up to fix a lot of bugs, which included a character wipe across the board. Then, when that particular patch came through, there was another bug that was brought on, because this is alpha, that broke damage across the board. Everything was overpowered, everybody was doing a lot of damage. So, I wanted to wait before I started doing more Starbound, before, so those were fixed. And now that that's the case, I'm ready to go back in. And since we're going back in, we are going to be starting with a brand new character. Um, I do want to bring back Magnus Von Uberstein. He, he didn't get a lot of... Uh, of spotlight unfortunately we're gonna go ahead and create um, pretty much almost exactly the same as the way he was this one hairstyle I want to do that hairstyle now because awesome is how that works with a leather jacket because he's fucking Maximus von Uberstein um, and his personality is uh, you know ba like the badass like fighter look he was you know heroic looking last time but this time we're changing that up a little bit He's gonna be, I think, white-haired. I like, I like, I don't know, something about characters and white-haired, I really enjoy. There's some sort of coolness involved in that. And with orange pantaloons, is there a really solid orange? Not really. So we'll just go with that. And there we go, Maximus von Uberstein is created. And we'll go ahead and click on him, and we'll start fresh. So we will, uh, as I just said, we'll be starting fresh in this wonderful game, but that's fine. That's a lot of the experience, so... Alright, I don't know how many frames I ended up losing there, so I may end up uh, cutting some of the audio because it wouldn't have made any sense. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we're starting fresh. I don't know exactly where we are. Earth has been ripped apart, so there's no planet below me. That's a first. Is that supposed to be like that? Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to expect right now. I'm very curious to see what we're going to end up getting. So we got the matter manipulator. Just grabbing, grabbing all of our tools um, that we've had before. Torches, some seeds, and uh, that's it. So we'll go ahead and do that. Yes, I accept my reward. I don't want to put a crafting table down yet. We're going to go down to the planet that I can't even friggin' see. Um, here we go. Alpha Omega CMA 15-3 is where we are. And uh, I was talking earlier to a few people about this game. And um, one of the things I noticed is this game has like an obsession with pastel colors. This game loves using pastel colors. And that is uh, quite, uh, I think that's pretty pretty friggin' obvious. Um, okay. Did those guys just spawn or were they always up there? I didn't even notice. That was a little scary. Uh, but we'll do what we always do with survival games. We're going to start gathering all the necessary um, things that we need, like uh, cobblestone and so on and so forth. <clears throat> and uh, make ourselves a pickaxe pretty much as quickly as possible. We're going to go find some trees. We'll try and make a shelter near the beam down point because I don't think there's a way... To change your beam down point, at least not yet. I'm hoping that's something they end up fixing, adding, or changing in later patch notes. Um, I know a lot of people have said that, Mathis, you should just read the patch notes. They kind of explain a lot of what they want to end up doing um, in, the, in the future patches. And you're right, I definitely should. Um, unfortunately, I don't, typically. And this guy is not friendly. Bird attack. Down. Is damage still broken? I don't think so. I hope not. I don't think damage is still... Oh, it might be. I feel like I'm doing a lot more damage than I should be. Maybe damage is still broken. These guys are adorable. These little fudge fuzzy creatures. Uh, but I hope that's not the case. I hope damage has been fixed. Um, but yeah, a lot of people have said, Matt, Matt this, I should, you should go read the patch notes. It tells you all things they're going to be adding and taking away into the game. And it'll answer a lot of your questions. Um, my answer is, I don't have time and I'm mildly lazy to do so. I will read the patch notes if they're, you know, major things are being added to the game, but there's, a, with alphas, there's constantly patches coming out, so patch notes are constantly going to be making their way through and, and through the the general public and being posted, so that just requires a whole fuck ton of time that I don't particularly have nor care to have right now. So that's my answer. Alright, so we need a crafting table, and for that we need 35 wooden planks, so we'll go ahead and make three... 3 times 10, so we'll go ahead and do like, that should be enough to make a crafting table. We'll go ahead and plop that sucker down. Um, yes, I accept my reward. Yes, we'll make some meat, no worries. We should also plop down a campfire as well, but first, the crafting table. We'll even put these pedals down here. I think having them up there is kind of unnecessary. 
And we'll put this down. Down? No. No. Why? Because of flowers? Are you serious? Too many flowers on this planet. I will miss Razorback Planet, though. I will say that much. I will miss Razorback Planet to a certain extent. Alright, that should be more than enough. Boom. So we have that. Now, if we wanted to, let's go ahead and... Oops. Yes. Alright, let's go ahead and see. Tools... What is it going to require for a stone pickaxe? Um, seven cobblestone, or ten cobblestone and twenty wooden planks. So the wooden planks shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, I'm going to craft that fireplace, uh, that campfire now, because I know we're going to end up needing it. But we'll go ahead and create a bunch of wooden planks here. Now we just need the stone. This should be pretty simple. Go ahead and mine these out. One of the changes that they did make in the patch notes, by the way, is that ships now can't use wood as fuel, at least that's what I've been told, and that it must now use coal. Um, I think that's smart. I like that a lot. I still like my idea and the other people that I've read's idea of having different grades of fuel be harder and harder to find, or um, be only discovered after you do a little bit of exploring. So like, coal will only allow you to get to another planet within the solar system, and those extra planets will find rarer and rarer fuel to get you out there and exploring, so there's a sense of progression that's kind of lacking in the game. That does mean that the starting solar system will have to, won't necessarily be as randomly generated as, as the rest of the game would be. There would have to be some sort of parameters that the game kind of associates itself on. Yeah, how'd I fucking know? Okay, back beast. Down. What about you, huh? You little lizard with wings? Uh, I thought so. Ugh. Come on, bring it. I'm ready for you. Okay, you have fucking fire breath too. What the hell? What is with these planet of Pokemon? Jesus. Alright. <laughs> Christ. Uh, let's just start taking up some of these flowers. Now we can go get some trees. And some plant fibers as well, which we can get actually right down there, which is awesome. I'm just trying to take care of some of these freaking petals so I can build, get ready to build my house. It's the only thing I definitely want to get, go, uh, get up, get some protection before the night falls. At least that's the hope. Come on. Quit shaking so much. Can I not get you? Like, okay, there we go. Um, why, do I, why am I missing a torch? Did I need a torch to create a campfire? It's probably what it is. Hmm, a lot down here. At least unlike Terraria, you can swim in this game. Screw that, I'm gonna take some coal here while I have the opportunity. And we'll grab some more stone because we're gonna make an axe. Let's just get all the basic tools out of the way. We should have plenty of wood to uh, to get an axe up and running. We could even get a hoe up and running as well, but I don't know if I want one quite yet. I'm not ready to do any gardening yet. I think it's a little early for that. Also, how's our hunger meter? We're doing all right. We're doing all right as far as hunger's concerned. I'm not incredibly concerned about that then. We can get that meat anytime. I don't expect it to be too difficult for us to grab. All right, that should be enough. So let's go back and make our axe. As we have our axe, we'll go ahead and start hunting down some trees so we can make our bow, etc. What was that? Wooden fence, gotcha. Alright, stone axe. Let's create that. Good. Um, let's get in our inventory and let's put this up in the hotbar. We'll even put this down here. Here. Our axe is better with... Uh, nope. I was going to say, maybe they're quicker at taking care of flowers, but that's not the case. I just want to get this campfire down. So I have a place to stay warm pretty much right away. We're going to need two campfires, actually, so we're going to want to make sure that's something we end up doing. Uh, the second campfire would be for um, for getting ourselves a furnace that we can cook the meat in. Because that's part of the quest that we actually have right now. But I'll do that. What the? Was that them growling? Alright, well, they're friendly. They're actually fucking adorable. Not even going to lie. And they are so freaking cute. I love it. Love the monster generation in this game. Again, most of the planets I've seen have definitely been pastel, and I, that I'm not a huge fan of. But the monster, the random monster generation, or the parts they pull it from, is awesome. It looks like we're on a brain planet, as you can see down in the bottom left, right over there. Brain, brain biome. I don't know if biomes mean you know certain types of resources or certain types of monsters or whatever are expected. Um, but ooh, hello. Uh, okay, well, that's adorable of you and all. Back. There's two of you there. That's unfortunate. So we have a bandit camp of, uh, avian bandit camp. 
Uh, wow, they are just mean. Look, guys, chill. Please. I don't want to fight. Come on. Guys, seriously? Here's the thing. I just want... I come in peace. Your other friend over there has a gun, and that's what terrifies me a little bit. Come on. Come on. So if I could kill you two without having to bother... Whoa, okay. Please don't have your gun friend um, really attack me. Lark Pouncer! It looks like they did end up getting really killed. A bandit hat. Oh, uh, did we get cool automatic bandit? Yeah, it's equipped already. So we got a bandit hat. That's awesome. Alright, well, you, sir, are scary. Uh, bandit hood. Alright, I don't know if there's a huge difference. We got the cool jacket, the bandit hat. Where's the bandit hood? Is it just... Is it just gone? Is it like you can only have one? Sorry, it's just too much for you? Oh no, it's up in our freaking hot bar. Which one do we want? Oh, we want to be a ninja? No, I don't want to be a ninja. Too many people like being a ninja. Um, well, we'll leave this here. This is, uh, we can sleep in it if we really wanted to to heal up, but... Not going to right now. Um, I mean, fighting them was actually really friggin' risky with how low health we were, but luckily I was able to kind of bounce them back and forth, and the monster was able to take care of the guy with a gun so super easily, which is kind of bizarre. But that's fine. I won't argue. No reason to argue about it. I'll let them die. Crap, what do I need right now? What is, what is the goal here? Oh, hunting. Hunting bow. Bow. Craft. Alright, we have a bow now, so we can start grabbing some meat, which is exactly what I want. And then we can build our uh, basic shelter. Getting all the basic stuff out of the way quick. We've even found some, uh... Come on. Yeah, oh, you went flying. Did you just, like, fall? Ugh. Down you go. Yeah, meat. We got some. Let's complete that quest up. That was easy. Alright, chop this sucker down. I think that's iron. I think that's actually some iron right there. Which is great. Is that? Nope, that was copper. Well, that's not as exciting as I was hoping it would be. Alright, let's, uh, let's actually the campfire over here. Let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and cook it. Okay, complete. Yay, we need a furnace now, which is exactly what I'm going to go ahead and do, which is over here. Furnace. Oh, I need a campfire first. Campfire. And then furnace. Oh, never mind. I still can't. I need 25 more cobblestone. Cobblestone. Cobblestone is not actually a thing. In case you science or less less educated science people didn't know. I was making up cobblestone. Um, we need a bunch of cobblestone. And it's getting dark out, which does frighten me a little bit. Um, I'm assuming it'll get cold at night. I think that's just kind of par for the course on a lot of planets. Um, but that's fine. We should get to be able to get a furnace up nice and quick, which will keep us nice and warm. And we won't really have to concern ourselves about that too much. Go ahead and chop that down. That, is that enough? That might be enough. We have 42. Yeah, it's plenty. You should probably just look, look, Mathis. If you just look, you'll find out. Alright, so with that, yes, we can smelt some. That's our next quest. But with uh, having this down, will mean we stay warm at night. If that's even, even if it even gets cold at night, which it might not on this planet, but I, like I said, it's, it's been pretty much par for the course for every planet I've been on so far. So I wouldn't be surprised if we start getting cold. But if we don't, Color me surprised. There's way too many fucking flowers on this planet. I don't know what to name this planet, guys. One of the things that someone suggested is I should let the viewers name the planet. I think that'd be a cool idea, so... We should get some names down and, and like the one that you like the most. That way we can uh, get some good old namings going on. Is there... Didn't I dig up some earth? Yeah, it's over here. I'm gonna leave this in here for now. Well, I can actually put it in here. I just wanna... Fill that back in. Alright, it's dark out. I'm not cold. Alright, I like it. We're gonna put a furnace here. Good. Uh, Alright, well what we can do now is start making a house, which is awesome. So let's do that. We have a pretty decent amount of raw wood. So we'll go ahead and uh, start making some walls. Some basic walls, anyway. I want it to be nice and big. So let's do it. Okay, well... 
I wasn't the, I'm not the most uh, gracious or graceful guy in the world. God damn it. Not this. You're an idiot. Come on. Let's get this all friggin' organized. I'm awful. I'm sorry. We'll get a door built as soon as we get this up. Actually, just go ahead and start chopping away. Oh, I should probably just do that. Go ahead and chop away on these. Should be enough for a door. Boom. Do I need planks for a door? Probably. Wooden planks. I need 20 of them. Planks. Uh, we can go ahead and make... That's be enough. It's a bird. Like a bat creature flying overhead, which is mildly terrifying. Hopefully it just ignores me altogether. Go ahead and put this in here. Got a nice door. Yeah. Looking good. I can even jump up here. Probably unnecessary, but... Alright, that's good enough for a roof. We'll just make it flat for now. Okay, well... We'll just make it flat for now. We'll do uh, more with it later. We'll probably uh, add a second floor and everything. Kind of like we did before. This one's going to be much more spacious, of course. And then I will uh, actually turn all these into planks. Uh, C. Planks. And go ahead and do 48 planks. Um, or even 147 planks, rather. And then we can um, give ourselves a nice little wall. Which we have to build from the ground up. Because that's how Starbound works. Oh, a couple Bulbasaur monsters. You are kidding me if you don't think that's not inspired by Bulbasaur, by the way. You are a fool. And we're out of planks already. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we'll have to brave the wilds for more planks. Are you friendly? You look friendly enough. You got opening your mouths when you jump is kind of terrifying, but I accept you for who you are and don't judge you based on your species. Here we go. A couple more trees over here. Your Bulbasaur kin kindred proved to me you are a kind a kind species. I expect you to stay that way as he jumps and hisses at me. Um, I'll let you have that tree. You guys are guarding that tree. You're officially the Bulbasaur guardians of said tree, so go ahead. There's a weird demon monster wandering around over there, I think. Um, I fully expect that thing to be fucking hostile. Yep! Okay. Well. Well. Oh, hey, there's my planet. Down we go. Oh, man. That was rough. Huh. Uh. Let's continue and try to get that tree again. Did 20 friggin' damage, which was a lot, I think. I'm pretty sure the, the damage bug has been fixed. Correct me if I'm wrong in the uh, comment section below, of course, but... The Guardians have left. Hopefully the demon has left as well. But I might not be going back for that. I just want a bunch of... I just want to be able to make a bunch of planks. I, I'm wondering if... Well, I'm assuming it is. I'm not even going to wonder. I'm looking forward, rather, to when they implement the ability to, um... Whoop. Eh. To grow trees, because... Exhausting a resource is not something I want to end up doing. Did I drop any down here? Looks like I... No, that could have been fish. That should be enough to get the walls up and running. Let's get those up. We can even... Ah, no, we can't really craft. Well, yeah, we can actually, but we won't. Planks. We can make a bunch. Let's just do half that. Let's actually do... Just 50. I mean, that might be enough. I just don't want to end up wasting more wood than I absolutely have to. The raw wood is mostly useless at this point. Oh, fuck. Demon monster. Oh, god damn it. Ow. You are evil. Please leave me be. Oh, god. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Stay. Ugh. Thank god you can't burn down houses. You horrifying beast of the night. Come on. Um, let's just go ahead and go straight across. We're gonna run out of wood. We absolutely will. More planks, I guess. Let's just go ahead and make all of them planks. Planks, planks, planks. And we'll go ahead and put the rest down. I don't know if I actually, you know, insulated the rest of the wall the way it's supposed to be. Paint the back walls. Paint them. Good, good. Um, you know... 
I just don't know if that's how I want it. But it's gonna have to be. Ah, we have a home. All right, good. We got pretty much, uh, you know, almost caught up completely to where we were last time around. So that's a good first episode. I think we'll call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more Starbound, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Dropping a like also helps. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button to join either the survivors or become a member of the Horde and claim your allegiance in the comment section below. As always, I will see all of you next time. Bye-bye.